Hi everybody and welcome along to another episode of Destination DCU. I'm Colin Cronin from the International Office and I am delighted to be joined by one of our new DCU students who started their uh, classes uh, this month. Uh, it's great to, to see such kind of life and vibrancy back on campus. But Ankit, how are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm good, Colin. How are you? I am. I'm very well. Uh, I'm enjoying the the sunshine that uh, we are experiencing today. Maybe for our viewers, um, you could uh, introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, and what you're studying at DCU. Yeah, sure. So, hello everyone. This is Ankit here, and I am from Mumbai, which is on the west part of India. And I am doing my masters in computing with my majors in secure software engineering. So if I speak more about my course, it's detailed towards security, it has some sort of hacking and of course the software engineering parts of it. So it is a very detailed course and apparently really tough. So it has given me a sense of it in the uh, initial two weeks, but it's something that I really like and things that I have been doing in the past few years. So I apparently have a experience of around almost three years in a software company. So it sort of helps me too. So it has been a great journey so far with DCU and the application process from everything from the beginning till my arrival over here. It's an amazing journey with DCU. Great stuff and uh, yeah, good to, to hear that, um, you know, it's uh, it's been good thus far. But if I can take you back to your decision to come to study, um, you know, at DCU, come to Ireland to study here at DCU on the MSc in computing. Talk to me a little bit about that, Ankit. What, what led to the decision to, to study on that particular course at DCU? Yeah. So when a student specifically plans on doing a master's, he has a lot of options open. So if it's, uh, for example, there are a lot of countries there, the student can study in the own country. There are a lot of options that are there. So when I, I was in the similar state, I started looking out for countries. But when I look for Ireland specifically, they specifically look towards the research. research they are more desperate like dedicated towards the research and uh, for my my field it is more inclined towards the stem so the ones who will be coming for my specific field it's like science technology engineering and mathematics that's what stem stands for so it is more focused towards that field so that sort of inclined me more towards ireland and then my filter it sort of filtered towards the university and then the goal that i had that sort of got more filtered when I was looking into DCU because of the research and the facilities that they have over here, it's quite good. And uh, also the graduate employment rate and all those facilities over here, the career services, I that was really something that inclined me more towards DCU. So I had no other options as such. And then I was quite focused on my application for DCU and I kept working on it and then uh, I applied in, in the first week of December and I got my application for DCU. So I was on cloud nine when I got my got accepted and then the next steps of like visa and everything else, I sort of proceeded ahead with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's great to hear that you put kind of so much research into finding out what was the course that, that you wanted to do. And, you know, in terms of uh, grad graduate employment rate, great to see DCU named number one in Ireland and number 23 in the world again last week. So testament to the work that goes in, I think, across the institution, staff, faculty, uh, and the career service, but students themselves as, as well, of course. So um, you said, as you said, you made the application, you got your offer. Um, and then there were a number of steps after that, obviously, in terms of the, the visa application and getting ready to, to come to Ireland before you were to embark on your journey. Talk to me, yes. I suppose, a little bit about that period, about before you came to Ireland, but when you were getting ready to come and making the visa application. What was that period like? So uh, the visa application over here is quite 
uh, easier compared to the other countries for for USA and all those countries it's quite difficult and all that but the effort that you need to put in for everything else is still still the same so no matter how like less complicated or hassle free it is there is some sort of nervousness or anxiety when it is there and there is a period like when you get your visa application done and the period till you get your result like if it's approved or not approved so it was good so far like there was a lot initially when i applied for it there was a lot of documentation and paperwork that was needed to be done like to a lot, like taking a lot of photocopies and all that but later on they sort of switched it to uh, like digitally they accepted soft copies that way but like uh, on a small like on a primary basis the visa application was really easy uh, i sort of uh, if there was anything i i always used to uh, contact column if i had any doubts for the india representative i used to speak to jasmine and uh, most importantly dcu had these sem- seminars when they sort of gave us a brief of how things would be how visa would be how our post arrival or things would be so when a student is planning to come to some new country it sort of uh, gives you that uh, some sort of space and makes you feel homely when you are coming to a new country so i did not regret or like question my decision why this university they were just justifying and doing everything that makes you feel homely and like even after coming here i do miss my country but then it feels like the con- Ireland and ECU the people over here are so welcoming and they are really friendly and loving actually. Well, I'm I'm really happy to hear that you found this series of webinars really useful and that you were in touch with Jasmine who's fantastic and that you know you found a warm welcome at DCU and if maybe if we delve into that a little bit more like yeah you you you've been in Ireland a few weeks now um it was is. it like was it what you expected how have you found the the first few weeks uh, around the the DCU campus uh so i am staying on campus so i can sense everything much better i have ex- i have great accessibility to the campus to the library and to the sports complex and everything over here so it has been good so far but if i talk about the like i mentioned about the post arrival so when i arrived over here we had this facility where we can just take a bus like the university provided us with a bus where they drop us from the airport to our accommodation so that was something which was really good and because uh, when you come to a new country you are like oh what what do i know i need to do like oh, what about the uber what about this cab that cab so that thing was also solved apart from that um, uh, like i am someone who is more inclined towards sports so we have this uh, huge park uh, like right opposite uh, to my apartment and apparently to next to dcu which is the albert college park so uh, when i came in for the initial 2 3 days like we me and my friends used to go there for morning walks and there are a lot of lovely people that you will meet there dogs if you are dog like if you love dogs and uh, uh kids they play football and then maybe you can just play football too so uh like initially i i did not used to play football much but uh adapting to the new sport in this country and getting used to it slowly and gradually understanding what gaelic gaelic football and hurling is so those sort of things were something new year and i am gradually adapting to the new sports here Fantastic. Look at you knowing about Gaelic football and, and hurling. Love it. And uh, there you are playing football. That's uh, that's fantastic, Ankit. And I suppose then as we kind of finish up the interview, just if there are people watching this, you know, students who yeah. are thinking about coming to study at DCU, um are there any bits of advice that you would offer to those students? Uh yes. So, irrespective of the field that you are coming in, uh dcu always starts from the scratch but uh, when you do some or begin with a new course it is always good that you sort of get a base of what you're going to study so then when you are so if you do not have a base and if you are not going to adapt with it you won't feel like oh damn what i am into so it's always like even though they'll start from a base 
please do a prerequisite sort of a thing that you that needs to be done that will help you transition very easy from the country you are coming from to the country where you are going to study so that's the only advice that i would do otherwise like i mentioned ireland is really welcoming and studying at bcu is really nice and will be great i assure you that Fantastic. Well, look, Ankit, all that remains is for me to wish you all the very best for the uh, the academic year. I've no doubt but that you'll do really well. And thank you for taking the time to chat to me today. Thank you, Colm. I, um, I have mentioned this a lot of times, but you have helped me enough like throughout my journey from the beginning till now, uh, even after coming here. And it was, it is always lovely to talk to you and meet you and go for walks around with you. Ah, you're you're very welcome. Happy happy to help you. Take it easy.